I'm here today is a uh, proposal from MCM Consulting Firm. Uh, they have provided the 911 consulting for emergency management for quite a few years now. And this is a new three-year contract that will go in effect September 1st. Uh, the total contract cost is $60,000 over the three years, $20,000 each year. And they bill that to us quarterly as we receive the money from the 911 fund. Uh, the 911 funding <coughs> from the state pays for the professional services that uh, Mr. Michael McGrady from MCM provides to EMA and 911 to, to enhance our 911 program. And I'm seeking your approval for the new three-year contract. I'll so move. I do have a question. I'll second the motion. Okay, let's entertain questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, John, <coughs> how much was the contract before? We all are so thrilled with the services provided by MCM, but because we don't bid it, I think we should be transparent as to sure. the, pricing. The last contract was uh, uh, 47500 uh, That was the last three-year contract. Okay. Uh, it's, it's up to $60,000 now from the 47000 Are there additional duties that went along with that? Or? Uh, he, he's providing the new, the new all the information for the new law and the changes in all the new law and as Pima upgrades the eligibility list and things like that he provides all that consulting to us as to where we can best utilize the funding that we receive from the state Thank you. during our budgeting process in the fall. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. I just, I just like to say that uh, uh, if there's a consulting service that's worth the money I think uh, this is one and uh, certainly uh, from my standpoint when uh, when they and I, I don't serve uh, as liaison to your department but as, from the standpoint of receiving information and uh, providing service I think they're outstanding so yes yeah, so they, they, they provide they provide additional service to us for for other things too if you're aware they remember they did the, the GIS project for the addressing information too and they did a fine job with that too so I just it's think an it's excellent consulting firm that's a public safety consulting firm yeah there. very high credibility with us yes. but also it's a, it's kind of interesting that they allow for reimbursement from the 911 to help maximize our use of that money right. so it's a, it's it's a win-win uh, and the way he invoices is he's, he's cognizant of the 911 funding and how we receive it so we don't have to pay it all up front either so it's He's probably returned more than that sixty thousand dollars. Absolutely, I, I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, any other, nothing else on this uh, contract. All in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed. So moved. <coughs> John, thank you. Now. Yeah, just uh, any background information that you can provide about uh, hiring Barry while he was the right choice. Just to prove that. Uh, his his uh, his credibility in the services that he provides to the community now, uh, his training background and such is, is why we chose him to, to lead the HAZMAT team in the, in the future and to, to get it back on his feet. I, I don't know Gary, can you tell me a little bit about him? Uh, he, he's, he, he currently works for First Aid and Safety Patrol uh, as one of their lieutenants. He's a, he's a command officer over there now and, and has been an employee of theirs for quite a number of years. Will he be at the meeting, the LEPC meeting? I don't know if he will be. I, I could invite him. Might not be a bad idea to. I was going to make the announcement of the LEPC too, by the way. John, you, you talk about getting uh, the Hazmat team back up on its feet. Can you give me some particulars as to uh, what you're specifically talking about? Uh, the Hazmat team was due for an inspection, and, and uh, we got an extension because uh, things weren't in order past hazmat chief and, and uh, we're getting things in order now to be inspected and, and, and recertified and some of the duties as the new chief comes on will be to continue to to enhance the services of that of that operation uh, where where are you now as far as uh, being recertified so we're still working with Pima and the people that do the recertification we have an extension till the end of July to, to complete that Optimistic? Uh, I believe we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay with it. It, it. it appears to be rolling along really quickly now. And 
there's a, there's a few things that need to be completed yet, but we feel that we're, we're, we're in the process of getting it certified. Thank you. One more follow up. Um, that's kind of a specialized job. How much interest did you uh, receive in, in that position? Were there a lot of candidates? Uh, there were a few. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot of, of, of applicants.